decent close-up, folks. And we are en route to Florida and Thompson, where we just got information we have a vehicle versus a pedestrian, as you see. Uh, we got a lot of police lights up here right now. They just responded. We did hear that the pedestrian is laying in the roadway, so we don't have much details until we get there on the conditions of the person. This happened right here in front of Weston Park, it looks like. Uh, looks like they got the roadway all blocked off. See, they said Florida and Thompson, but we're up here in Florida and Franklin. So, jeez. I guess, yeah, we are at the right place, right here. Go I ahead. have a copy, honey. Well, you'll go around me. Here, you, yeah, he's going to come around you. Go ahead. I can't see. Well, go ahead. All right, we're going to come over here, and hopefully I can continue to get internet, because this area is always bad for internet, so... John Strangus is on scene, so he'll get the video and I'll do the live stream so folks will let you know if you are going this direction. You need to be careful, take a uh, U-turn, flip a bitch, go the other way. Here comes the fire units right now. This is live as it's happening. Like I say, we are over here on Florida and Thompson, right over here by the Takara Ortoro, where they got some good tacos, folks. You gotta come out here and try them. Hammett fire just pulled up. We do got the roadway blocked. There's Gary Ringlotter on scene right here. He got here before I did, we were all at his place. I'm I'm right there, but that's my copy. You're good, man. We are streaming live, everybody, over here on Florida and Thompson, over here by Weston Park, where we have a vehicle versus pedestrian. That's those things here. Gary's over here taking some still shots. Here comes John Strangus, folks. He's going to be bringing you the video. Figured I would do the live stream, leave my camera in the car and John and get you the good stuff here. And more details and interviews. So as you see... The road is closed over here where the Union Bank building is and is closed here at Thompson where it happened here on Florida and Thompson. So if you're traveling north or west or eastbound on Florida in this area, you're going to have to take a detour. Okay, that's why they don't want to talk. They're the driver. Police are going to go talk to them. We got the medics still here with the patient. Did you see what happened, my friend? No, we just heard it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we heard you boom, and uh, they hit so hard, I thought it was a car. Well, it was a car. I a mean, car but, uh, a, a body, yeah, I thought you hit a body. I mean, he, he was hit by a car. Right. Time. I thought it was two cars, I'm like, God. Where was you at when you heard it? I'm sitting about mid-park. Oh, yeah, okay. A friend of mine got killed two days ago got hit and killed instantly in a wheelchair that's why we try to you know stress to people you know instead of walking across here you can walk just a few feet over and be safe and well, go across the back question wall. about richard who died the other day because he was dying of cancer and he just got that wheelchair and he'd been bombing around and all you know and it could be an accident but we we're kind of curious if he just did it on purpose because he was it was getting bad wow i'm sorry to hear that yeah. i'm trying uh, to see who this guy is he might be a friend of mine too and i don't know who he is he's pretty tall already Medics are working with the gentleman right now, trying to put him on the stretch board, folks. Everybody give a prayer for this guy. Hopefully he's going to be okay.
make sure everybody that's watching our live stream if you will hit that follow button on uh, my live stream that way anytime we do go live you will get a notification and it will pop up on your screen once we go live also make sure you do subscribe to our youtube channel on him and i news.com Hey Patrick, that sounds like a good one, my friend. Happy early birthday. Yeah, we've got some more units coming in. As I say, folks, we are streaming live here on Florida and Thompson, right over here by Weston Park and to Carol Toro. Sounds like that this gentleman is going to be transported to uh, a hospital by air flight. See, possible okay. he's got severe head injury, or the patient has severe head injury, and they are reporting Mercy Air. Yeah. Uh, so we got reports that Mercy Air is being called in. So what they'll probably end up doing is probably transporting him to. Hemet Hospital where the helicopter will land there in the parking lot of Hemet Hospital and then take him on by air to a trauma unit. got the officers right now they're talking to the driver of the vehicle getting what information he can get over here that the driver said that he wasn't going very fast hey hey, hey. get over here get him officer get on your bike trying to drive a bike through an accident scene the officer got him real quick He hit the hood right there. So when he hit the car, it looks like he hit his head on the hood or something right there. So it don't look like this is a pretty good sight, folks. Yeah, I'm, uh, exactly, Angel. I'm glad the driver did stay. The normal times, every time somebody gets hit, they run. John's turning us over there and he's getting all the photo shots and videos for different angles for us. So we'll be looking out for his video. It's posted on him at news. Okay, we just heard now that uh, they just canceled air support. So that might not be good. That's fine. Great signs right there. Yeah. Right here. They just canceled air support, so hopefully he didn't pass away. Because if they canceled air support and the ambulance just still sitting here, that's not good. That's what I'm saying, Crystal. I don't know why people do that. You know, I sit here a lot of places in town. I'll just find a spot, and we'll sit and we'll film. And you will be surprised on how many people that I catch on camera walking 
down this part of the street when right there you got a catwalk. I mean, come on folks, Walmart sells a box of common sense. It's only 99 cents a box, and if you tell them the crazy guy with the lazy guy sent you, they'll give you one for free when you buy one. Get two for the price of one. That way if you ever run out of common sense, you'll have an extra box somewhere. I right, say so for those that are just joining in, we are at Florida and Thompson. Uh, had a vehicle versus pedestrian. The Hemet Fire Department and the Hemet Police are here. The yeah, AMR is here. They just did contact uh, the flight helicopter, but they just canceled Medvac. So we're hoping he didn't pass away. The ambulance is still sitting here with the patient in the vehicle. So y'all just keep your fingers crossed and the prayers lifting up. Hopefully he is going to be all right. This is a developing story, folks. You're getting it as we're getting it right here with the Redneck News by that crazy guy with the lazy eye on him and I news .com. No. No, he's not being tough. All right, they're closing the doors of the ambulance, so uh, I guess we'll find out and what's going on on the way they take off they run code two or three or zero what worries me is you know like i say they did uh, call for a uh, medical flight and then they cancel it and the ambulance is not wasting no time leaving. If it was a head injury, you'd figure they'd be already gone as quick as possible. So that's a concern that we're having. Look at the window. Bad window. Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom on that. You do it here. Oh my goodness. They did hit the window too. So there's the dent in the car and the smashed windshield, folks. And I want to also let everybody know that this live stream is brought to you by Clark's Towing with David Clark on Facebook. He's the one that provides us with all of our Wi-Fi internet. All right, they still got the lights on, no siren yet. I think they're going to shut them off. I hope he didn't pass away. Well, they they canceled medical aid. He is still talking good. All right, good, folks. All right, good. I hear a siren. That's the sound of relief. All right, looks like they do have him sustained. He, Gary just advised that he is talking, so that's great news to hear, folks. So give some hearts and likes and prayers for this gentleman as we continue on our life lead. That's what I'm saying. Show those likes and hearts, folks. Each like that you put up as a prayer being sent out. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end this live stream. Uh, wait, do what, Lori? What? I hear a helicopter. You hear the helicopter? Well, they ain't going to be bringing it in. No, by the hospital. I thought they canceled metal flight. Is that a star nine that you're hearing? But just let everybody know that the road is still closed. We'll be closed for a while. 
until they can get the mess cleaned up. Looks like uh, I don't know if they're going to tow the vehicle or what. Well, they're going to have to. You can't drive it through there. with Looking out that peep hole in the window, that would be unsafe. So they're probably going to go ahead and tow the vehicle. The road is closed from Thompson in Florida. Going from Santa Fe to the Thompson is closed. And Santa Fe and what? Santa Fe and Thompson. Yeah, Santa Fe is closed to Thompson. So just this little section here at Western Park. Oh, I'm on my way. She's coming here. Carly Myers is heading on the way. Yeah, somebody shows up late for everything. Uh oh. Somebody's getting a sobriety test over here, folks. Yeah, this is the driver being, uh, officer is giving him a sobriety test. What's up, hey. John? John Strange? John. Sobriety. Yeah. John's getting you some close up, folks. Driver passed the sobriety test, looks like, so that's a good thing. Accidents do happen. You can't help when people walk out in the middle of the road in front of you, you know, but officers got to do their thing. And folks, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is our new junior news reporter, Serenity. How you doing, Serenity? Good. So what do you want to say about this? What do you think about people walking across top walks? It's kind of really, like, when they don't walk across the crosswalks, like, they can get hit, and sometimes they do know that, but sometimes they're just not really thinking. So what do you like to tell the people a message out here about walk, jaywalking versus when you got a cat walk just right down the walking distance from you? Well, I think that you shouldn't do it because you could possibly end up either dying or you could get, like, really hurt. That's right. And you might not be able to heal from it. That's right. So to listen, folks, to our new junior news reporter that's going to be out doing reports with us, Miss Serenity Woods. Y'all give her a like. She's going to be covering a story coming up real soon for the community, so y'all got to look out for her post right here on Him and I News on Facebook. All right, they're, they're now opening up eastbound traffic, the one lane only. So if you're heading eastbound, oh, look at all those likes you're getting, Serenity. Look at that. People like you, girlfriend. You ain't even started yet. Oh, here they come. Here comes more. There you go, folks. Welcome her to Hemet News. I gotta say, they are opening up one lane on the eastbound side. Go get them, boy. Go get them. Uh-oh. He just stopped traffic. Oh, no, they didn't open up nothing, folks. People just started taking their decision and just going to open it up themselves. So that officer right there just shut the gate on that roadway. You go, officer. Tell them when you see a bunch of lights, you're supposed to dang them go around, not go straight through. He shut that door quick. So the eastbound is not open, folks. People are just trying to open it themselves. And that officer right there, he stopped that quick. What are you trying to do, John? Oh, he's trying to get a shot of the Western Park.
That didn't look good. We film, we film this all the time out here, man. You cross this street on Florida, and you ruin this guy's life. <laughs> right here. He's all upset, man. Yeah. Just an uh, innocent driver going down the road, probably going out to take his family out to eat, and somebody, you know, walks across the catwalk. And what happens? It disasters everything, not just the person that got hurt, but this man right here, look at him. He's going through a lot of stress right now. I mean, he feels that he hurt somebody and it feels like it's his fault, folks, when it's not. I mean, come on, you know, a lot of people need to think before you start walking across the busy highway. I mean, this guy probably ain't never gonna forget this sight, you know, it's probably gonna go through his mind every night when he closes his eyes to go to sleep. I mean, He's gonna have flashbacks of this going through the windshield. I mean, stuff like this, you know, it tears people up. So that's why we always ask people, come on, think about it before you do your actions. Make it legal, make it safe. That's why they got those lines over there. I'm sorry, folks. I ain't seen none of these comments going through here. Let me go back to my comments. Okay, Lori's been handling them. Thank you, Lori. We do ask everybody, you know, please share this video, share this live stream, let it be aware to other people that may see it. You know, this is reality, folks. I mean, we bring it to you as it happens, showing you the sincerity on how sincere can you be about these catwalks right here. This happens every day out here in Hemet, folks. I mean, it's an ongoing thing. I'm a fire, you guys be careful out there, man. What's that? I see you guys be careful out there, man. Absolutely, we're always Good are. seeing you again, man. Try to stay careful. I know, right? Did you get that award over there? The award at the uh, church with uh, uh, Dr. Steve? Oh, yeah, we were uh, yeah, there. We were doing our. Uh, uh, the there it is right there. For the day. Yeah, man, you know what, man? Hey. We're all out here for you guys, man. We're taking back to the downtown. Man. Hey, that's, that's a great that's right. Hey, you got to admit, that raid they did today was tight. <laughs> right on, man. One day at a time. Oh, we got Carly Meyer on scene, folks, our city council girl. Give her a shout out. Give her a like. She's cleaning this town up. She ain't playing around. This woman's got balls, let me tell you. No, the pedestrian was not killed. Uh, they he did have a head injury. He's being taken to Hemet Hospital. We did hear that there was a um, medical flight, but we heard that it was also canceled.
What's up, Carly? Hey, hey, how are you? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. He was a heavy set guy. I got a little picture of it. That's an older man, right? Who's he on a skateboard? We don't. I haven't seen that. I don't see him on a skateboard. Yeah, I think they should be pictures of the hit. Yeah. Look here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, yeah, it's not him then. Let's see if we can get an interview with Miss Carly Myers. It's not him, Carly. Do what? Ah, that is telling them to be safe when you cross the street, man. That's right. I go, everybody's got their issues and so you just be careful, man. Thank you. Don't don't do this. Hey Carl. Hold, Hold my beer and watch this. Is, it, is it streaming? Folks, look, I'm gonna put Carly. I'm gonna put Carly Meyer on the spot. Carly, can you tell me, as a city council, how important is it to people when you have a catwalk right here versus jaywalking? I mean, how does it affect? What can you say about it to, to oh, people? Oh, please, please use a crosswalk. Uh, everybody thinks they're tough, they're invincible, and we're not. We're not. And it doesn't matter. It's well lit right here, and there's a crosswalk. 25 feet and we should have pan over there. There's a crosswalk right there. And that's why we try right to there. stress to people, folks. Right there is where you should have walked. Jaywalking kills. Not just drugs, but jaywalking as well. So, I mean, take it from me. Take it from Carly Meyer Very with sad. the city council. I mean, Carly, also want to say you're doing a great job out here. The city loves you. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Well, the job. man is injured, let alone the man that hit him is injured. Yeah, mentally. And so, yeah, besides his car looks pretty messed up. So. All right. Well, so, folks, that's all I ask, folks. Think before you walk. They basically getting everything cleaned up now. This is Eddie George with a Redneck News, that crazy guy with the lazy eye, with him and I news.com.